What's up, y'all? Here's your daily shooting vitamin segment. Now, this here, this is an easy segment that you can do every single day. It's only 10 drills, five reps of each drill, and we're gonna break this down. Um, after you go through the seven steps, I'm sure you can understand the importance of each of these drills. So this is really something that can, we can give you that to do every day so you can keep your habits consistent and your shot consistent, all right? If you build this in, into your daily routine, I promise each and every one of you that you will be a more consistent shooter. The bottom line is you have to continue shooting. You have to continue getting reps. And without a routine, it's very difficult to continuously rep out every single day. So here's a simple routine. We call it your daily vitamins and let's get to it. Step back, two hands. Step back, two fingers. Now the key is that you feel the two fingers, two, three, four. Step back in front of the rim, five, two, three. Alternating ball wraps. No wasted movement on the ball wraps. You're just wrapping it and going right into your shot. You should wrap it right to your start point and your hand should not make any more adjustments. We wrap to start point, no more adjustments. We're alternating with this. Got two bounces. Feet start wide. And then replace under the hips too. Really focus on the flow. Three. Right foot back, left foot forward, one bounce, as if it's a dribble step. Gather on the right foot and then flow. Then we're alternating. Working on the timing right now as if you're getting into a left, right, or right, left pull up. Now you go right foot forward, same thing opposite. What's up y'all, DJ Sackman here. Thank you so much for coming to check out our YouTube channel. Remember, we do have a full online academy. Some of the best players in the world have taken our online courses. If you hit the link below, you can get immediate access. There's a ton of different courses for you. So if you are a basketball player looking to really improve your knowledge and your game, hit the link and we'll see you inside. And again, thank you so much for checking out our YouTube. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe now button. Back to the video. See y'all. Don't rush this. Hips are already loaded. You're not dipping much out of it. As soon as that foot hits, my momentum's going up in my shot. Second it hits. Next one, we go spin out. So now we're going off the catch, spinning it, stepping left, right, get it back and go opposite. There's no defenders right now, so there shouldn't be much variables, meaning you should be very consistent right now with the way that you're shooting the ball. Pickup should be clean, getting to that start point. 
an organized way. Right. Remember, this won't take you very long. Right, left. Focus on that flow. One more. Left, right. Now we do the same exact thing, but now we take a bounce. So that was off the catch, now it's off the dribble. Same way we start, one foot forward, inside foot back, I'm dribbling right, I'm picking up left and flowing. We already did the breakdown of this. You flow right into this action. You'll feel there's a little difference between when you spin it out and catch it, than when you shoot a pull up. The pickup is gonna be a little different, obviously, than when you catch the ball rather than dribble, but being able to get it to that same start point and flow up is what we're looking at. Right, left. And we're picking it up on the last step. Left, right. One more. In there. So we're going cross steps. So all I want you to do is essentially hold the ball outside your frame, bring that inside foot across your frame, right, gather on the last step, flow into your shot. Hips start down, try not to let them come up much. They can come up a little bit, but then be able to get back into that flow, start to feel it. Come on. Now we go left hand. Now my right foot's gonna go across my frame. See me still gather the ball on that last step. Try not to turn too much. Remember, the key with this is that you're focused on one twos. This happens off the bounce, happens off the catch. But feel your feet getting under your hips. Ah, got one more make. Now last segment with this, we're gonna alternate. You're gonna go one time, one, two, one time foot replacement, just to feel it. So the first one, I'll have go slow crossover, left, right. I'll alternate, go this way, right, left. Then the next one, same thing. We go cross, now I hop off the right, land on two, cross, hop off the right, land on two. Just alternating each time. My hip's gonna have to turn different angles in order to get the proper footwork down with this. The key is that at home you can feel it. Still picking it up on that last step. Get in there. Now I'm hopping. 